Welcome to the Raw Room. Welcome back to the Raw Room. Goddamn, we'll be back in this bitch again. Yeah, I know we missed you on, on, on Wednesday, but hey, we in here regardless. And you know, today we talking about the shit we saw on the TV. <laughs> <laughs> a lot of craziness, a lot of crazy shit. You know, you know how we kick it on Saturdays. You know, this is the one of them days. You know, get your college football out the way. Or, you know, you pick up on Monday when you finna go to the job. You know, whatever it may be. You on Tuesday, right before you catch the Wednesday drop. We kicking the shit. We gonna tell you what we saw. The shit is crazy. Now, I do want to start with this. Abducted in plain sight. All right. Now, you said you only saw it. one episode. Yeah, the reason I, I got to like bring one, it up because yeah, Courtney had texted me. He he watched the the, the 24 Faces joint. Okay. He had to, he okay. was like, bro, I watched this shit. That shit crazy. He was like, hey, you need to watch the Abducted in plain sight on Netflix. I'm like, yeah. damn, I have seen it. I don't know why I didn't ever Please. watch it. Yeah, right, 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 right. So, boom. Nigga, I started watching it. That shit was crazy. Bro. That shit was crazy. No, you haven't even. Uh, no, nigga, you I've saw seen one that episode. Joint. I've seen those. I've seen, seen all of them. Yeah, yeah, I've seen all of them. It, it was nasty. But it was beyond nasty. But it was crazy. It Thanks. was, bro. I was puzzled at, I the, at how the shit was going down multiple times, not just one. How the I can't judge a parent. You can never judge how people parent. I, but I have to judge ahead. them as a human. Okay. I'm fair. You know what? I like that. I, I like judge him I as like a that. human. As a human, say, yeah. I do not understand what the fuck you had going on. I'm not. I don't, I don't care who. Look. look. <laughs> you could come over to my house, right? And be like, hey, bro. You mind if I, I'm just trying to get a little Okay, question. I'm going to have a Go daughter. Ahead. I'm trying to get some pregnant. You mind if I take Veve to the crib? Yeah, we. Me, Veve, you. Yeah, let's go. Yeah, I'll come with you. But you just taking Veve? Hell no First of all Why would you Want to just take Somebody The parents is really Like You saying You know what I'm saying You can't necessarily I, I, That was a parental Decision that he made bro And so I can judge His parenting style Think about it bro Man. I mean like Like a regular human With no children You can't Like they would They'll never be placed they, In yeah, this they situation, in that situation. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's a parent Like of a specific Parent issue Yeah Like How much do you value Your own children <laughs> yeah, for real. Like real talk, they couldn't have been that precious. Was yeah, you gonna take it for a couple? What? What? I'm gonna it take it to. I'm gonna take it to go swim or whatever. No, go fish. Whatever. The fuck that. Bro, said. we all going. Goddamn it. Like we what? all going. This is Everybody's fun. going. And then talking about, I'm gonna take it in between the her, her classes as well. The fuck she had to do. So I, I you know what I got a question for you. And this is a conversation me and Jasmine actually had, bro. And she he like, hit him with the aliens. Yeah, he did. He did. It, it's, it's not funny. It's really, not funny. No, it's, it's funny. Really it's funny because it's only funny because like it's 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 not the funny funny, but it's like the sad funny. Yeah, sad. You know what funny. I'm saying? Like you gotta laugh at it to keep from like <laughs> crying. Cry. Damn yeah. it. <laughs> yeah. Because right. so, I'm I'm just like, hi. First of all, you know this nigga didn't even serve no real time ever. None. Man, yeah. did the most he did was a year. Ain't that crazy? And that was like forty years later. Man, what? It might level this shit. So I, I still got away with this. I'm, I'm gonna give y'all this year just so I'll be nice. He got away with it for 30 years and then he he decided to show back up. It's crazy. Like OJ. And still nuts. It's crazy. <laughs> right. <laughs> Listen though, question. Because like I said, I was I was having this conversation with Jasmine. Would you like how do you feel about like sleepovers now? There like, is no such thing. Unless okay. their name is right. Micah and Mason. <laughs> That's cousins. <laughs> Nigga, that's how it's going down. Like families. Like, like yours is strictly on family. Cause I ain't like, like, you know what's crazy? I know some people now that don't even let their kids spend over family houses, though. Real I mean, talk. You, to me, I, you must not. It's You don't know the people in the house then. Yeah, facts. But then, maybe, then you maybe, never know maybe. the people in the house. Yeah, I mean, you really can't, though. You really can't, though. I mean, because, you know what I'm saying? People people were, like people close to you will like, hide some dark-ass shit. And they can Absolutely. be real close to their They'll hide some dark-ass shit. Absolutely. So, yeah. But anyway, I mean, it's just it's just out of... Yeah, I got you. Man, but that one... That 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 was just crazy. That, that wasn't was, even no family. That was just a partner. Yeah, homie. Like, real talk. A friend that of the family. That had a whole bro. family, too. It's crazy. I don't understand. Hey, he slid the mama. He did, didn't he? I forgot about that part. For a whole eight months. And then set the whole family business on fire. After he got caught. <laughs> Come on, bro. 
Come on, bro. And, and he, that's definitely one here. of those things where you got to laugh to keep, keep him crying. Bro, exactly. <laughs> that's what I'm saying, bro. It's, it's nasty, like, bro. You, every, every episode, you be like, nah, nah, that ain't. That nah, is one I like. It was happen. something going on with that head, fool. Like, don't even make no sense, bro. Because he, they held over the, the you know, because he was doing what he was doing inside the house. Right. No, you know, with the dude, with. Oh, he was, no. that's right. He no. was screwing basically everybody in the family. Everybody got some. Yeah. Everybody oh, got some. That's right. Yeah. Really everybody got some. some. He literally ran a train. Other than the, the sister. Family. Other than the sister. That's messed up. Everybody in the family got some of some, whatever and he was he delivering. Was out here. He was walking around these streets. No, like nothing happened. <laughs> and they, and <laughs> like it wasn't that big of a deal. Okay, wait, wait, wait. <clears throat> Would you be able to give your peoples up if you was like, hey, they did something? Would I be able to give my people up? How am I? I'm saying, like, let, if it was your brother. Okay. Let's say if your brother's in this situation. Okay. And he... Did as a brother, yeah. Yeah. Okay. Was, and you knew about it, mm -hmm. but you knew if, at that time, if we told, then they gonna get both of them. Him for doing that, and him for, you know what I'm saying, they gonna get both of them. But your brother, ain't, he, ain't, he just did that to save the family. But would the police come up to you, I'm FBI telling. agent come up to you? I'm telling had to. You say the name. I'm telling. I ain't if hands was about it. You say the girl. Especially as a they kid. They would have saved her if they would have just said that. Especially as a kid. Like, because, I mean, mentally, I'm thinking, like, I'm telling. Because, like, I, as a kid, I don't think that much is going to, like, I, I'll be able to get, uh, like, get, uh, get over this stuff. The parents in a situation to where, like, you know. Nigga, they got to get over it. They, nigga, they both know they worry about the community. Man, listen, Man, fuck I'm, that community. I'm telling. Nigga. I'm, I'm telling. I'm, I'm title telling. Bro, my daughter's <laughs> getting don't. abducted, my nigga. Yes, bro. I'm telling. Ah, hey, yeah. I did it, man. Fuck. Yeah, I did it, bro. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I did that shit, man. Yeah, fuck yeah, that yeah. shit, man. Just give it crazy, up, bro. Man. Give on, that's, man. That's, that's anyway, crazy. that shit was fucking crazy. Mm -hmm. But we gonna bring it on. That was in Idaho. That was place in Idaho. Idaho, Salt Lake City. Then he sent the ass out there to Pasadena to go to all girls school. Thought his ass was slick. The man <laughs> posed as an FBI agent and never did time. Mm. Come on, man. You know somebody that did? Uh, uh, someone else that posed as, as an FBI agent. He did. He actually did time. Actually committed suicide. Julius and Black Messiah. <laughs> Oh yeah, the black dude. He he poses FBI damn. agent locked up. He damn so did. Ain't yeah. helped them niggas out like a motherfucker. Helped that he was a man was a rat. Ain't that a rat, he was a rat bro? But nah, like I mean, they're, they're, he definitely should have served time for that. I mean, he should serve time for a whole bunch. of He should have served a whole bunch of shit. <laughs> whole bunch of shit. For real, for real. But nah, yeah, but, that was yeah. that was that was up that way. Up that way in the Salt Lake and the because they was in Salt Lake, they was in Idaho, mm -hmm. they were in Pasadena. Mm -hmm. But the next one. Takes place right here in Middle Tennessee, in the middle of Tennessee, right the way Tennessee, down. To be exact, the way down. Now, 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 most most of y'all that's seen this, which I know a lot of our roommates that's in Nashville have, y'all don't even know it as the way down. Sure don't. Y'all know it around here as the Brentwood Dock. <laughs> the Brentwood Dock. The Nashville Dock. Y'all seen that dock? Hey, you seen the lady Nashville. with the puffy hair with the nest on her head? Exactly. Hey, go watch that joint. Bro, because yeah. that title is long. That, that is a horrible title. It is a horrible. <laughs> that captures down, no eyes. Everybody, because people ask me, yo, what's the dock? I said, but I don't know what the dock is called. I don't know called. what at all. <laughs> Bro, I just, even that, because I'm telling that, I was like, hey, it's this documentary I just watched it. And it was little, and she was like, what is it called? Man, the Brentwood dog, it was like, like they Brentwood was in Brentwood, dog. bro. And they was just yeah. out, like, I couldn't. What you think of? Bro. What you think of? Off top. First, I'll start it was like, how? Okay. I know how. I know it. No, no, I'm how. saying when they're like the oh. first two, one, two, ep first two to two episodes. I'm yeah, saying yeah, how. Yeah. Like, bro, yeah. Okay. Who the fuck is I've seen going because I've, they I've passed by that joint. Who the fuck okay. going to church because they want to lose weight? That's crazy to me. But then. I started seeing how she was preaching the shit. Yeah. And marketing the shit. Yeah. I was like, oh, that's how people going. Oh, so she's saying that you got to be goddamn uh, The Rock to go to heaven in this bitch. <laughs> <laughs> Motherfucker got to look like, like Kim I feel Kay like that was like, that was like later on, like in the beginning. Here's the thing. When I was watching this joint, that little book, like, bro, I've seen her stuff. What you mean? Like in, in the stores? The way down at the churches that I was going to back in the day. I just for real, about it. bro. They did the the title right. What they did the title right. What you mean? 
Her book is called The Way Down. Way, like W E. Oh, yeah, that's what they did. And then they did. But they shouldn't have did the W A Y. They should have just did it the they same should way. Just, the yeah, it, it would it would make sense. Anyway, it would make sense. I, just anyway, they, I caught they bluff. Anyway, Simon, anyway, nigga. I've I've seen the books and the little. There was one scene where like there was like a little workbook, like a little journal, yeah, yeah, journal yeah, type yeah, deal. Yeah. I know that my mama had that whole for real, bro. I've seen that joint a few times. So I went to a church, bro. I'm, I'm, bro, t- I'm telling you, bro, bro. I'm telling you, bro. I'm telling you. I've seen her work. She had like a little uh a, a fucking. Workbook uh-huh. that I know for a fact I saw back in the day. But what's crazy is her books was in a lot of churches. Like I, I remember these joints now. Like every time I, I was looking, well, at I went to all black churches. So it was at all black For churches, me? bro. That was, they she had black uh members, bro. I mean, she did. She was. Members, it was. It was black women, and it was a lot of women just in general. I don't want to say a lot. Of, no, I, ain't, I don't want to. You know, it was men in there too. But yeah, bro. Like they was all trying to lose weight, and like oh, no. this woman basically said, as long as you pray. You can eat whatever you want, or and you can lose weight. See, my mom and, they, to and, get, and like they put scripture on it. That's what got it. You got nah, scripture. Where I'm my trying to. My mom just had her Weight Watchers Bible. I mean, book next to her Bible. That's how it was. The way- <laughs> she just kept them whole separate. She ain't put them business together. <laughs> bro, they was putting that shit together. <laughs> Boy, bro, <laughs> they was definitely putting it. Listen, she made a, a fucking weight Bible book. She did. She made a way Bible book, but, but I've I've seen them joints back in the day. It's just crazy though, bro. When I, that's how it all started. Like, when she got to her to, like to her peak. That's how this shit started. Yeah, when she got to her peak, when she got to the peak, that's when they started it to turn into the cult. That's what they say. That's what they say. That's what they say. That was that's what the that's way what down. Told yeah, us. yeah. That's, what that's they when they you know it's, it. Her church started getting quote unquote cultish like. Telling yeah. people you had to do X, Y, Z. Live a certain way. Yeah, live a certain way. Right yeah, you exactly. can only get to heaven if you eat yeah. like this. Exactly, exactly. Weigh this much. If you ain't losing weight, then you going to hell. And... Which, to be honest with you, I don't necessarily see how, uh, you know, people thought that was the cult based on what she was saying. Where, like, other churches do the same thing. Like, you can't do this or you're going to hell. Yeah, but I feel like they... It's the same. It must have been the way she would press, like push yeah, pro- you a full I mean, court like, with it instead of just would. saying it and yeah. then just. She probably won't full court with it, but like full court with it. But like, I mean, she was using scripture and stuff. That's the to like she to was like, using the scripture to, so. to sell a point. But that's what they do, though, don't they? That's what they do. I'm gonna be honest with you. Bro, listen, uh, and I, I don't want to put no pastors' names out there, but there's plenty of pastors that uh, yeah. take scripture, have a point, like Speaking for instance, pastors. relationships. Speaking like, like for instance, like there's there's a pastor that sells relationships. He got relationship yeah. books. Oh uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. He got yeah, different yeah, things. Yeah, like yeah, he yeah, uses yeah, scripture yeah, yeah. to push relationships. You got people that do it for finances, aka James Ramsey. Yeah, you know what I'm saying. He got a whole co following same thing. He got finance hey, books and he used scripture. She what, just say, okay, what's well, our boy name? We were talking about that one time. Creflo. Nah, we were he, talking about him the same day. Uh, TDJ Joel Osteen. Joel, Joel Osteen. You see, they might just gave some bread. Back. I saw that. <laughs> I saw that. <laughs> I did see that. Yeah, hey. I did see that. He was being green. That man know he was being green, bro. He knew it, bro. He knew it took all it took green. the man a whole year, bro. He was green for that, bro. He said, "Let me go and run this money back." Hey, yeah, I'd use those that I did. I run this so bad. That he he's green. He's green, and you know what's crazy? He got a co-following, bro. He still got a, a whole I, church I, still I, doing I know. Stuff. I know. They, hey, hey, that's that's when I come to question. Uh, I don't know if we got any cultist roommates. I don't think they let cults listen to this. So, think but we yeah, I doubt it. <laughs> I I did, if you part of a cult, I don't think you can listen <laughs> to the wrong room. Think, you, you sneaking and come, a hey, comment in the section, <laughs> babe, but, bro. We can help you, bro. We can help you, bro. We will help you, bro. You don't need to be in that situation, man. Like, I didn't seek help. Um, just the seeing of a cult in plain sight. I would love to ask somebody and talk to them. And, I'm gonna be like, I know you, you get to see it on the, the thing. I want to be like, now. Nah, like, this is a real question. Like, we're not even recording. Yeah, like, talk, I to, ask me, you talk to me. Real, talk like, to me. What are you thinking? Like, like how does you let somebody... They're not um, thinking for themselves. They let somebody else think for them. That's what they're doing. Period. But that, well, you don't, I don't think they would say that. I guess they would say something like that. They, they would say the something outcome, like, but... "Well, the following of that that I say is that I should boom." Yeah. That's the, I mean, this is my personal yeah, yeah. opinion. I just feel like here's because, like, to be honest with you, you know me, bro. You know I'm like super religious, right? I, I'm not super religious, but you, but, you know yeah, what I'm saying. Yeah. I do believe in what I believe in, right? 
But I feel like there is a certain extent to where you got to have some, uh, what's the word I'm looking for? Wherewithal. Wherewithal. <laughs> some fucking knowledge. Some, some Consciousness. Your own, yes, bro, like your own thoughts. Because, bro, you yeah, can't depend on some other people telling you stuff all the time. Like, when are you going to make some decisions for yourself? You can have that. People can tell you something, but it's like you take it with a grain of salt or you take it, all right, let me just let me do my file that hole. Okay. And then yeah. I, you know, it's a thought. You know, mm-hmm. I have it as a thought and I'll bring it back in. And, yeah, that's crazy. But, man, but just, just wait, just, yeah. Just, like, just, they just want them to think, like, hey, I need somebody to think for me. Or they get behind some some cause and just follow it blindly, like, you know, Trump supporters. <laughs> <laughs> the same thing. You're like, all right, yeah, you know what? We fuck with that. Hey, I'm about the, to ride with him. Hey, the, the, you know what I'm saying? The people that be having to still having a Trump 2020 stick, They riding. The, the flag. But it's still up. <laughs> I was in the part of Tennessee today. And I, the motherfuckers still had Trump 20 to 20 flags in the yard. Absolutely. They're not going nowhere. <laughs> Bro, he got real followers, fool. He got real well, followers. Well, the thing is, you don't see black people with the Obama sticker still, right? At least that needs to mm-hmm. put another stick on top. All right. Not the sticker, but like, you know, we got shirts, tees, or, or pictures Come on, the of shirts ain't name. going nowhere. We still rocking the shirt, but we're going to cut the grass <laughs> in the shirt. Painting the shirt. So I don't, nigga don't know Bro, he was here, baby. I know you've seen like the Obama picture on the wall. Obama okay. pictures like are Jesus, on here by the Mal- uh, Malcolm, Malcolm X, Malcolm X, Martin Luther King. I'm pretty sure the white folk got Donald Trump on, on their wall somewhere. <laughs> got to. Got to. <laughs> no, it's not everybody. Not everybody. I'm saying certain ones. Uh, you know, I know at one time, Derek Poston, he lived with a dude, a white dude. You want to know his name? What was his name? Black Jesus. No, it wasn't. Oh, God. And Black Jesus had a big ass picture of Black Jesus at the house. Like, I'm talking about. He had a roommate, and his roommate was a white guy, and his ID said Black Jesus. His ID didn't say Black Jesus, I but did. you know, but the niggas call him Black Jesus. They call a white dude Black Jesus? You want to know why? I got to know why. <laughs> <laughs> but we must know. Supplied. Supplied? Oh, okay. He was that guy. Oh, okay. So. So they call him Black Jesus. But he was like, he was... But he damn near black though. <laughs> he damn near black. But he didn't look black, bro. He was heavy set, break down, brown hair. Yeah. Wore a polo t shirt, some khakis. Lived in the mound. <laughs> Got him back, Jesus. Mike <laughs> drove a Jeep. <laughs> yeah. Why they call him back, Jesus again? <laughs> hey, man. Neighborhood push up. <laughs> <laughs> oh my God, bro. That's funny. That's hey, funny. That's the way down. <laughs> that's the way down, man. Boy, shit. Hey, check that joint out. Hey, listen, I'm telling you right now, too. I know for a fact I've seen some of these folk out, too. Like the boys that go to the church. <laughs> For real? Oh, absolutely, man. But uh, I'm ready to get to this one right here. <laughs> what up? The closer. Oh, yes, no, sir. No, this is not the end of this conversation. Nah, but this is the, the hottest thing going right now. It's going to be probably going for the next, for a while, bro. Because nah, yeah, the bro. more people that see it, it's the more outrage. Yep. But what you we got, speaking man? on Dave Chappelle's The Closer, the Netflix special. Um, one of you know, my favorite comic, one of um, all time. Before we go too deep, um, who's your top three? Oh, Dave Chappelle, no order. Dave Chappelle. Mike Epps. Fuck with Mike Epps. Mike Epps in your top three? I fuck with Mike Epps. Damn. All time so living. Oh, you talking about even like, about to get left out you for already. You talking about Eddie Murphy in them? But I said top three. Oh, I thought you were talking about just niggas now. Nah. They still what on stage. What you mean? He's still on stage. Okay, that's fine. But he's in your top three? If we saying right now, if you saying all time. Even right to now. Specify. Right now. Right now. Because he's on stage. There's, Niggas, it's not but, everybody getting on stage and doing stuff. But, but, but like everybody's busy, though. Okay, People you busy. act like you catching nigga shows. You just tried to go see Dave Chappelle and goddamn Joe Rogan. What happened to your ass? You're right. All right. <laughs> You're right. Nigga, cancel. Go, go, try to tell you. Yeah, all right, dude. All right. Okay, okay. Then, all time. And, and listen, I'm not going to start on Mike Gilbert. I'm going to start back like, with Dave Chappelle. Yeah, facts. Okay. Dave Chappelle. I'm saying, I, I got to say Mike Epps again, bro. Fuck. I, I did. It's the same. Mike, <laughs> Listen what know. this man just said, Faye. I just no, because you, I don't know. You over here like, oh, 
I gotta say Richard Pryor or some shit. Like, I know nigga, you I wouldn't even say, when this nigga was there. You don't have to say anything. I'm talking about. I'm talking about top to you, top three to you. If if F's and I'm is going, your three, okay, then I'm saying this is my top three right now that I that okay. I know that's been on stage and I've been seeing that shit. Uh, Dave Chappelle, like I said. Okay, we know Dave Chappelle. All right, Mike and Derek Poster. Okay, all right. I see what you did there. I'm, all right, cool. That's fine. That nigga had a martini glass thrown to him. Look at that I know, boy in high school. Ooh. I know, bro. I know, bro. I know. Ooh, we. <laughs> <laughs> Shout out to him. I was going to do a pay cut tag, but now it ain't even fun to do a pay cut tag. Just do a you... pay cut tag, bro, because that's just how I'm just Cat Williams. See, like, how, how, how was he not in your top three? He, see, if you would have said all time and some bro, top I 10, say, you can't I, do three, nigga. You, I check, there's so many comedians out there. I you can still with. do three. Oh, I can't. How I, you going to tell me? All right, fool. All right. You can't tell I got to do all three. Right, bro. Like, you, you killing the damn pay cut tag, fool. No, I'm, I'm not, because that was a horrible pay cut tag, then. I didn't even say football. shit. Go click on the Derek Post football. You <laughs> should have seen that shit. This subject. No, I was not, but for real, though. But the pay cut tag. I was going to say Cat Williams, because, like, he's relevant. Okay, like who else? Who else? Cat Williams. Question though, do you got Cat Williams? I mean, Mike Gills over is Cat, all... Cat Williams. Be honest. Who? Do you got Cat, uh, Mike Gills over Cat Williams? No. Nah. Well then, why did you not say Cat because Williams over Mike Gills? I, I just saw Cat, Mike Gills. That's why. Oh well, then there it is. He Fuck, was nigga, I said, That's what I'm saying. That makes sense. That makes sense. I tell you, you talking about right now? Or you talking about all time? You know what I'm saying? That's what I'm saying. Because right, okay. if we go all time, then we get Cat Williams. I can Dave say Chappelle, shit word for word. pay cut Dave Chappelle, Cat Williams, Chris Rock. That is horrible. Well, how is that horrible? I'm gonna pay the D- 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 Dave Chappelle. Yeah, I'm gonna pay Dave Chappelle, Ted Kat William Cut, Chris Rock. I'm sorry, old niggas. <laughs> <laughs> that's the only nigga that care right now. The old niggas. Nigga. Oh, what? That's fact. That's fact. I, I really don't fuck with Chris Rock, but I'm definitely uh, tagging Cat Williams. He actually about to uh, go back on tour. Uh, yeah, I can't wait to see. I can't wait to see. Because I ain't gonna lie, I do not like him on podcast. Who, Cat Williams? No. I haven't heard him on podcast. he been on cover. That nigga get too philosophical. I don't know. I don't even know the word because, you know, he pimpology at the same Hell time. Yeah. So it's like he be using the pimping ass words, but then he be trying to be so metaphorical. and He be on his T.I. shit at the same time as Bishop Pimp Match at Don Juan shit. Oh, shit. So you, won't just, you, you just don't understand what he's saying at and all. Then he, and he's not really, he's not cracking jokes. He ain't laughing. Oh, yeah. I know. Like he was on 85. He was on uh, Joe, Joe Budden called him one time. I do remember that. I do remember that. That nigga was not joking. Oh, no. I mean, but they call him on like some serious shit, though. Come on, bro. It was know. business shit. I Think mean, I feel what you're saying. Any other nigga. Dave Japan ain't really been serious. Like, I mean, no, I mean, funny this lately. past episode. Okay, now we get into it right now. Let's go to it. Let's go. This Let's past go. series, he was he wasn't serious, bro. You talking you about, the, about the past series or just this past? Compared to this past uh, special. Okay, so this previous special, ones, right. he was all he was serious. You want? I say he didn't Sticks have a cigarette. Stones was uh, funny. But he didn't have a cigarette this one. He, he wasn't sitting down. And he was walking. And he had way more funnier moments. Like, just had people laughing and shit. Way, even though he was still being serious, his shit was, he was laughing at his shit. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. He was being more loose with it and come, instead of how he usually sit on that stool with that cigarette. And, and he preached to your ass. He'll give you a little laugh right there. And then he's going to take it back serious on your ass for a good seven minutes. And then give <laughs> you a joke. You. And then serious you. again. This I time, feel like uh, sticking was, stones though, like he was actually cracking jokes I, though. Yeah, he was. I'm talking but, about. I'm just saying. But this one right here this. was like it was more jokes. I feel it was way saying. more jokes, but it was. <clears throat> and if you, like, I watched it twice. And if mm-hmm. it, I watched it twice just for the people that didn't understand, it. I wanted to make sure I understood it for them so I can explain it to them a little more. You know what's crazy? You did that. You know what I did? I actually just had it. Like so I watched it. Then I had a conversation with one of my cousins. He's mm-hmm. he's a uh, gay black man, very mm-hmm. very prominent gay. But he actually wrote an article in, G, in a GQ about this. Dang. Okay. So I talked so to him about it. That's the source. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. I was like, I was Exclusive like, you know what? Shit. I was like, yo, let me let me because I was confused too. I said I gotta call somebody in the community yeah. so I can better understand because I don't get it. Yeah. But anyways, I get to my go ahead. What do you think? No, I was just I was getting to that nigga like. Yeah. Well, I don't know if anybody that ain't seen it, which I'm pretty sure it's a couple Everybody, people. There's yeah. a lot of people that ain't seen it, but yeah, um, he had a lot of a lot of uh, points that I say people in the the black community have been saying. Obviously, he stated that plenty of times. Yeah. Um, I don't even know how to say that I shit wanted- without. Go ahead, bro. I'm just saying, like, cause you know, I, I would, I would say, I would say one thing that he, that to me, I'm trying to explain for the people that haven't seen it. That's all. 
Okay. And I don't know how to explain it without... I mean, like, people know what's going on. I mean, like, they... they You've seen Twitter, it, yeah. In, 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 in Instagram, like, they all know what's going on. So I would say what he did was this, twofold. I feel like he was having a conversation, like what you said, from, like, the black perspective. And he and you can also argue one was having a conversation just from a heterosexual perspective yes, as absolutely. well. absolutely. Right? Mm-hmm. So that's what I kind of was pulling from it. And then he made sure the point that he wanted to drive home was the correlation between that particular community and this and and, and, and like how people yeah. react to it in the black community and how people react to that. Yeah. That shit is it don't look the same. At all. As a matter of fact, he will say that one looks better. You know, that might say the I even wish. Yeah. I could be him. Right. Or her. Absolutely. Just so I can have that privilege. Just that. At, at that time, just you know what I'm saying? Right. And he said, like, he like, I, I think a lot of black people feel that way. And yeah, you <laughs> damn skipping, nigga. Be like, oh. shit. I wish. I, I mean, I, I was sitting there like, you know what? Remember the uh, cat we and John where he he was sitting in front of the TV. Was like, well, yes, I will. <laughs> yeah. Well, yes, I do. Yes, well, yes I got that. Well, you man, know what? what? I do agree with that. <laughs> oh, that makes sense. But God, like, you right. I, I, I mean, yeah, I, I, I feel like you know what I'm saying. He just said he just said it in a way. And, Here's the thing that, that kind of made that that, that kind of lightened the moment for me and actually brought it home. I'm not sure if he said it in this series or if I heard it. So I mean, this special or if I heard it somewhere. So you know, like Caitlyn Jenner won um, uh, Woman of the Year in some magazine or whatever, right? And uh, I'm not sure if Dave said it in his show or somebody else heard. Yes, it. he did. I think he said it in the show. One of them. So he was like, "There's a man <laughs> out there, basically." You know, now, you know, Caitlyn did the best as a woman. But we know that. Once upon at, a time. At one point, she was a man. Yes. At one point. We can all agree yeah, with that. We can all agree with that. I mean, she was a Google cool even person. said it. Right, yeah. And Google Anyways, right. he made the point that that particular person was more woman <laughs> than any other woman that's sitting in his. That's why I like his joke. I you, uh, uh, and I was with, like, that's why I like the feminist joke when he came back around with that one. Yeah, he was like, and, and I'm a feminist. I was like, hey, basically, I was like, damn, that shit was funny though. He closed at the fun. end though. <laughs> at the end, he was like, so all of y'all. <laughs> he now we right back where we started, man. We well, right back where we started, man. That shit was funny as hell, but nah, man. He was look, man. Look. Just go watch the shit, bro. Yeah, I don't even feel like how you feel about Dave Chappelle yeah. or the people he's talking about. And I will say, man, just listen, put bro, yourself you on the, a fly on the wall of a black person's apartment. <laughs> man, what? <laughs> hey, I, I listen. I and like to be honest, because I, I was having a conversation with folk on Twitter, bro. We going back and forth and stuff like that, bro. But I was like, you know, in the end of the day, it is cool to have your own uh, back to it, have your own thoughts, have your own yes. opinions, and do your own research, and yes. don't just be mad because yes. everybody else mad. Yes. You know what I mean? Outraged. Oh, I'm outraged. Yeah, just Why like you, you know what I'm saying. Even how like he said, you who know, was he, it? It was some he, lady that girl, some girl said, "Oh, I'm not finna watch this," but gave a whole two paragraphs on what she thought about it. But I ain't even seen it and said that she's not going to watch it. See what I'm saying? Because she got gay family members, so she I'm not finna watch it. And then gave a reason why he should be canceled and why this is wrong and that, but she never watched it though. Never and watched she it. Black. Never watched it too. I mean, I, I, I I was about I to say something about that, but I'm not. Gonna, I'm not going to do that. I'm not going to go on, on that ledge. But I know. I, I believe it. I that's believe crazy it. to me. Yeah, you're going to just it is make an assumption. I just, just feel like go you know, off the whim and trying to yes, get bro. a whole bunch of people to you, get you your own thoughts, bro. Yeah, you just get your own thoughts that's and stop just disgusting. trying to follow trends. Yeah, just follow your own thoughts. But it's also it's tying it in, ain't it? Go ahead, and talk about it. You want me to talk about it? With old Jonathan Gruden, I feel like it was like deja vu. Bruh. I was like, damn, Dave Chappelle just said this. He literally just said, I watched it two days ago and two days later. It happened, bro. It happened. It happened. It happened. The man Explain called DeMorris Smith, <clears throat> basically the mission man on his face, basically said that. Basically said the nigga had a mission in tire lips. All right? <laughs> he basically said that. Disrespectfully fuck. He did. Now, most, now when it come to insults, once again, Black people, we don't aim for those type of things. Mm-hmm. Like we don't be like, look, dickhead, white boy. You know, we don't do that. That's, yeah, it's not um, cool. Yeah, it's not. Yeah, no. So we don't. <laughs> How aim. do you know? <laughs> yeah. Like, <what? laughs> All right, nigga, you going too far, bro? You know what I'm saying? <laughs> <laughs> nah, so I'm just saying that. Just I'm just using that as a joke, but yeah, just yeah. to say like, I think you said it. Like people still use these type of insults. 
Like, you still say shit like that. We would have a conversation. And then say it's not, it ain't racist, nigga. I, saw, I call every, I say that about everybody. Yeah. I don't, I don't believe that shit. One thing I like about the homie, you know, our, our new little homie, uh, Lane or whatever. Yeah. Is, and this is what people should do. This thing I do with my cousin. It's like, yo, if you don't know why. And shout out to Lane. He damn sure did. Yeah, he was he like, yo. He damn sure did. He was, and like, he said it's so right. I wish there was some more white people like that. He's like, yo. Absolutely, you know what, bro? bro? I don't know, but if you don't mind so telling I got a, me, I'm in a group chat with four black people. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> like, I'm gonna ask some folks, yeah. and, and that's real. It's real. He came. He was like, "Yo, I don't know. Like, why is that offensive, or, or like, why is that considered racist? Because I just don't know. Like, he just didn't know." I said, "Okay, cool." And like now, I can explain to you, mm-hmm. you know, why the big lip, big feature thing yeah. is ra- uh, uh, considered racist to uh, black people. The big noses, the big ass, the everything big, you know. I mean, it, it goes back from way, 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 way back in the day. So if anybody's out there that's saying, well, he that wasn't really racist, why? I'm telling don't you why t- right now. Don't, you I'm you telling basically you gave why. it to him, but hang on, we, we sh- I ain't going to put the text out there. But. It basically goes back to this right here, bro. Um, the whole big lip and big feature thing was something that white folk back in the day, and obviously 10 years ago, Literally. <laughs> Literally. Literally not even 10 years ago. <laughs> There's people that ago. just did it just not too long ago. Not too long ago. We'll get to it. We'll get to it. We'll hey, get to it. We'll get to it. We'll get literally to it. right in y'all face. Um, but um mm-hmm. oh, fuck, what, what was it? Anyways, like that where there was a thing to where there was a direct insult to black people back then, especially when you talk about the menstrual shows back in the day. Blackface. You know what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. They used to draw their lips. Like on their face, face. And they lips all right, big on as nose crap. And shit. Yeah, yeah, like because like they wanted to have like, well, this is what black people are. They got yeah. big ass lips, you know. They got a big, you know, big ass uh, bell pepper nose. That was mm-hmm. like the thing, you know what I'm saying? So like that, that's the reason why it's uh, offensive because it, it ties back to that, yeah. And it's still being perpetuated today. Now it, it is kind of funny, you know. I was telling Lane like how like you know tables are turned because now you're seeing more people that didn't have lips before. Yeah, you know, want to yep. get some big ass yep. lips, or want to get. But they don't ass. see it that way. They don't see it that they way. They don't see it that way when they go tan and try to get, Mm-mm. try to get some like fake dark melanin in them. You know what I'm saying? Like, they don't see that. They don't so. see it that way. But then they go, say, "Oh, you black motherfucker!" Mm-hmm. Like, damn, bitch! I just seen you walk out of there trying to look like this. You know, trying to look like goldish. Like, you wanted some of this bronze, like damn, chocolate, okay. cafe. You know what I mean? Now, ain't nothing wrong with tanning. Yeah, ain't nothing wrong with it at all. But if you come out there slanging some racism there, <laughs> I hope you slipping no your own oils, bitch. <laughs> <laughs> but see me. What's up, bro? But anyway, go keep on with the with the Gruden thing. So, when, so he 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 did he shot the email and so, we tying that shit back to Deja Bill. Go when ahead. they said the first, yeah, with the shit about Demar Smith, mm-hmm. I was like, man, I might as well get up. Ain't nothing happen. Man, he's gonna say a statement. You gonna apologize? He's gonna get there on with. Sunday. <laughs> he probably gonna get out there on Sunday and not even have a statement. Hey, somebody's gonna just type it up for him. Mm-hmm. Read this verbatim. You feel me? <clears throat> yeah, I found So when the other shit did, I feel like what the else? It was like when the the, the 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 second the rest of the emails hit mm-hmm. or whatever they you know what I'm saying put out there because I'm sure there's more, mm-hmm. but. When the second set of emails hit, I feel like they just told him, like, hey, yeah, you got to, either you got to get up out of here or we're going to let you go. Yeah, I mean, yeah. I mean, that's what happened. That's exactly what happened. But then like, I started thinking, like, what if the what if it was flipped? Like, what if the second set of emails was first? Mm, talk about it. Would he have resigned or been fired, or would they have waited to the... The black one came out. The big lip ones. Because the big lip was like, all right, put the statement out. Get out there and play on Sunday. We saw that. We saw that. That's what happened. That's what happened. And then the rest of the emails came out, and that's when I resigned happened after that. So one would wonder if roles, if the roles if the, were were, yeah. were, uh, were were flipped, i.e., when the baby said what he said, and Dave should be brought that up on the other thing. <laughs> he brought that up on and the That's stand-up. the same exact shit. He was done the next day. The next day. Just food for thought. And man, and this is back to fucking the closer. This man 
Opened up so perfect with that the baby shit, bro. He did. I thought it was fine. I, I like thought that I shit it. was amazing. I, thought, I, yeah. I seen some I like old it. ass rapper try to tell him, "Are oh, you snitching, nigga?" He already beat the shit. Get the fuck on. <laughs> hey, <the> fuck what? <laughs> hey, nigga, folk, yeah. folk, folk, been been talking about that anyway, though. Yeah, nigga, the yeah. baby say something about it every, every album, <laughs> every track. The nigga say he he specified where he was at. <laughs> That's how we all know. I ain't read that article. I had no idea. I listen to a song. I'm my home, bro. I put the pieces together. I do all the tracks. And I know the whole story. The uh, same way they just knew the whole story. So, no, he wasn't snitching. Yeah, man. Shit snitching. already been beat. My dog had a, a he was legal firearm. Yeah. You know, he was... Self-defense. Self-defense. Had a daughter in there. Now, nah, unfortunately, for her, she saw something get murked. But... Hey, it is what it is. Um, they still here. But, yeah, he opened up with that shit, bro. And I thought that shit was like... Hey, I thought that was a good idea. Perfect. Album. I liked it. I it was perfect, bro. That's Dave Chappelle's and them brought it up. Kanye brought him on stage and now both, and no one likes not either one of them. And that's, that's still Kanye like brought who on stage? Bro? You remember uh, uh, Kanye brought uh, the, uh, the baby on uh, his last listening party? Oh, you're talking about when he had the jail? We featured that? Nah, yeah. That was, yeah, 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 it, it, it was, was it was jail. So, you know, like yeah. on the third done, like so like on the third listening joint, it was the one that was, that was in, in Chicago. Chicago yeah. We had Merlin Manson out there and all yeah. them. The baby was out there he too. He was out there. I did see yeah. Yeah, yeah, the baby was out there too. So, folk rocking with him, man. You know what I'm saying? Nah, yeah, I ain't rocking, nobody man. trying to take hey. nobody money, fool. Like, you remember nah, my livelihood, bro. bro. That's what I'm saying. That's what I'm saying. Yeah, yeah, that's what I'm saying. Like, dang, like, bro, like, this folk really took his money from him, bro. Like, but That's that draws the question, though, like, and like you said, everybody got to have their own opinion. Mm. You can't listen to us and say, oh, right, fuck this shit. Or you can't listen to us and say you agree with us. Mm. But it's clearly a thing that there's... They got a lot of power. Scale tip on, mm. you know what I'm saying, one side and the other. And the, the other side is us. Mm-hmm. It's been down bad for a little minute. Down bad. So when, when somebody like and it's in high play like John Gruden that can make comments, you know, racist or not. However you see it, some people, Tony Dungeon, you know, Tony Dungeon say, hey, fuck that shit, man, he good. Yeah. I ain't never seen him do nothing racist. Yeah. That's like, I know Chris Long wouldn't care. If Chris Long, if I saw, if, if no, let's just say, if Dr. Fax, if Dr. Fax do that, if they went to college with him and do the podcast with him, if Dr. Oh. Fax, black dudes who, if Dr. Fax was like, hey, I ain't never seen him do nothing racist, but I seen him do some racist shit. Mm. But I'm telling Dr. Fast, like, hey, bro, I'm telling you, I saw it mm. verbatim. And he be like, nah, I'm riding with him. He good. Mm. That's basically what Tony Dungeon did. Mm. And my Tony Jump, they coaches okay. fuck with him. They probably been here together, there together, you know what I'm saying? Uh postseason shit together, you know what I'm mm. saying? Kicked it. So like you saying that was cool? I think he looked, yes, I think he looked at this. I mean, that's my home, but I'm telling you, I like, he just being silly. Yeah. Because, yeah. listen, in the locker room, bro, mm-hmm. this niggas is being silly. For hardly niggas is, like, they, hardly niggas is trying to be racist, like, it hurt niggas' feelings if they, you know, if it was that. Yeah. Like, it ain't, it's just being some goofy shit. Most times, black, black people saying it's just black people. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? That's most of the shit be like that. Mm-hmm. But at the same time, you know, you have coaches that can, that can goof off with you at the same time in, in the meeting rooms. You know what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. Now, I ain't gonna say it'd be on some racist shit, but it'd be like on some borderline, like some silly, crazy shit. Mm-hmm. But like you saying, like they know, they know where it's the ends at. You feel me? Right, 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 right. They have an idea, and then too is it's a relationship that you have that player too. I'm assuming. Absolutely. Like if like, I just yes, met you, hell no. Like I've seen right. some jokes that motherfuckers said that borderline go bad because a motherfucker didn't know the per- the people in the room, mm-hmm. like. A certain amount of people that you knew that was with that shit gone. Now there's some new niggas in here. And you got self evaluated. Young again. ears. Okay. They move in here a little different. So I got a question. Oh, wait, this is a good question then. So you just bumped into something. I am curious about this. Locker rooms, when you first came in, mm-hmm. 14, 15, versus the locker room ears, you saying like the, the young dude is coming in now. Do you think the young ones coming in now are a little bit more? I don't want to say sensitive. I want to say sensitive. I want to say like a more like. <laughs> I'm, I'm not saying sensitive. I ain't making no face. I'm saying like, are they more like, I guess, aware that there are certain things that folks shouldn't be able to say to us? That's what they call it. Yeah. What do you call it? Well, nigga, the ropes. 
Life, bitch. What the fuck? But you think the government give a fuck. <laughs> yeah, I mean, but 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 do you think that's that slick dope though? Like these younger dudes coming in, like, cause like heck, they are, are they affecting change? Nah. You wanna yeah. know? Maybe they are. Maybe they, they probably are changing. They are. They yeah. are changing. They the are way. changing. The they things, changing man. the way because you know ain't no more rookie hazing for real. Yeah, ain't no more. You know, we probably one of the last shooting did it, cutting niggas' hairs and you know, hair off and shit. Yeah, see, I can't um, do that no more. It makes slick sad. That's what I'm saying, bro. <laughs> but, but okay, yeah, but but as far as like you know, it's still on. I feel like to your point, the coach to kind of know or whoever the other player, whoever is 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 on that person to know who they can and can't go there with. Man, that's just being the coach. Then let's learn if you that type of coach trying to learn. Yeah, your players like that, but. Man, nigga, you'll be all right. Nigga. So, like, they said the next day, uh, the reason why uh, the Raiders lost to the Bears is because all the players was thinking about that. Oh, yeah, no, fuck out of here. <laughs> bro, I say that stupid ass shit. Get the fuck out of here, bro. Y'all would have cared like that. <laughs> Man, listen, why? Tell us why, though. Tell us why. Tell us why. Like, why do you feel like, like. First of all, I'm playing football on TV. Okay. In the NFL. Okay. That's three things, two things right there. Football on TV in the NFL. Okay. I'm in the NFL. Okay. I'm playing for lots of money and lots of money just for walking on the field. That's two different page of eight days right there. Hmm. Okay. All okay. right. All I don't right. even know where else to fucking... Do I need to keep going? So, like... I mean, it's just... I, I don't know, bro. <laughs> like, fuck the coach. Fuck the, If that coach did something like that, I don't care about this money no more. Who gives a fuck? I'm playing with Nick, my dogs out there anyway. I Make the call, I feel the coordinator, saying. offensive court. Make the call. Come on. Yeah, like we still gonna play. We still gonna play. Okay. They they did say that though. <laughs> they did say that they lost. Man, you seen the dude, the new NRL head call, I forgot his name, Basquiat or by something. I said Basquiat. Anyway, <laughs> <laughs> the new head coach for the Razor, but man, damn it, he cried at, at uh, his uh, uh, his meeting today. Nah, I didn't see him almost cry now. What happened? Well, I, 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 he I, was I he was rich, but dog rich. He was happy of joy. <laughs> Fuck that other coach. <laughs> <laughs> I'm the captain now. You feel me? And guess what? The yeah. boy for the ride with rich. Fuck it. Yeah. Who? Yeah. I, I got like that. Okay. I got you. I got you. I got you. Know, no, that makes sense. That probably, makes sense. And rich, he been he probably fucking around with. I don't know what rich coach, but I'm just. Obviously, he wasn't the head coach before this, so he was more probably around the player, just kidding yeah. shit while coach, while Gruden he knew got a coach. He knew coach. him. He knew See him. Man. Yeah, I got you. So he probably they probably fuck with him even more. I mean, fuck with him more than they are if Gruden. You know what I'm saying? Like the the middle, the, not the not the dead dead cars and the you know what I'm saying. Some of them, that shit be clashes and shit. So yeah, they be, yeah, yeah. you know what I'm saying? The behind the scenes guy. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You know what I'm saying? Like I got you. They probably could rock with bro. Wayne State guy, huh? So he was, I couldn't even tell you what Wayne he was State running back at. coach. Running back special team coach. He was special teams coordinator See, for the that's Raiders. That's why. That, that's why he's the head coach right now. Special team coach. They always be the greats. Mm. Always. <laughs> Bill Belichick. Mm. <laughs> Bill check your shit. There you go. Yeah. Okay. Who, who was, was the uh, special team coach? Uh, 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 John yeah. Fossil. Okay. I'm pretty sure most of these niggas, like a lot of them, bro. That's how you start off with special team. Because that's like one of the offensive coordinators, then special team coaches always become head coaches. There's a few DCs out there. You can't head, head a, head yeah, head. small amounts, bro. Because you know, who was Andy Reid? He was a DC coach. I ain't gonna say small amount. Mike Ray, that's a, Very, that's, a, that's, okay. a, that's a defense minded coach. Who's the up there? Minded coach. Who's up there in uh, Detroit? Yeah, real defense minded coach. Who in Detroit? Uh, uh, he was with the Patriots. He was the Patriots DC. He was right? DC. Hey, I don't even count that. That's different. How's that different? <laughs> that's that the different? Belichick shit, bro. <laughs> it it Dan that. Campbell, boy. Hey, Dan, nah, Dan, that's, like, that's not who I was time, uh, thinking bro. of, though. I, Dan I Campbell, bro, he, like, he used to look like he had a good time. I was thinking about Matt Patricia. This is what I was thinking Matt of. Matt Patricia, yeah. Yeah, this is what I was thinking of. Oh, yeah, Matt Patricia. Yeah, he, they gave him the boot ski. Yes, sir, ski. Detroit cur- cursed. <laughs> Man. I was watching. Over, uh, what was uh, I watching? BML, I guess. I was watching BML for kids, bro. I was watching this. Watch it. Hey, you ain't seen the episodes yet. I like, you talking about it about that. The next two, yeah. We literally could have segwayed straight to Detroit. Man, but you got done anything else for the day, Chappelle shit? Man, I, th- I think we've, we've covered it. I think it's a good watch. Uh, definitely check out my cousin article, too. Like, if you do want to, like, hear, like, the other side, bro. Like, it was in GQ. 
uh, uh, Saeed Jones fade. Look at that up real quick while we do this. Or hit this man up. Yeah, Dave Chappelle portrayal. That's it right there. That, that was that was his, his his article, but it's just on GQ. So if you want to see like another perspective, there you go, right there, man. It is a good. It, like I said, I, I I'm I'm one, bro, uh, on either side of the aisle or race or uh, ethnicity or um. Uh, uh, gender or whatever the hell, but I always look at the other side, man. I always look at one side. That's how people be getting it, man. Like you always, you know, trying to formulate your formulate a opinion based on a one sided point of view. Mm -hmm. Shit, nasty, bro. You gotta see both sides, man, to have like an actual educated conversation, man. I always ask questions. This shit is very, very, very important, man. A beginner, more controversial. Nah, he ain't, man. We are trying to get the boy uh, Josh Black on. He going through a lot. Um, this is the day. He after. good, man. Nah, he good. He but, good. You know, I'm saying he going through a lot. You know, a lot of people hitting him up. Oh, yeah, yeah. And I want to get his side of what yeah. the fuck happened. Yeah, that man going on his campaign trail. I'm so proud of him for keeping his composure. What you, you know, said. A young nigga like me, I wouldn't have been thinking about bringing my phone out. I know what? you. Yeah, he said, I don't for need what? It. I'm not even using something. I ain't calling nobody. I'm gonna pass her and go see what's up with Buddy over here. What's up? Bro, Buddy didn't want to be there, though. And I know. And that's when me and him would have had to calm down. He would have calmed me down because I would have seen his presence. Yeah. I'd be like, oh, he just trying some cheeks. Oh. Yeah. Man. That's all he was trying to do. And he probably been able to been telling me that. Yeah. I'm like, all right, but then I probably just walked away. Yeah. Y'all would have never even heard. Like, y'all would have found out, but... Yeah, 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 I got The people would have never known. I got you. I got you. But I'm, I'm super proud of this nigga with black fingernails to uh, <laughs> decide to bring his phone out and get this bitch on um, all out there with these weak-ass fit she got on. Um, the bitch got on Uggs and it's hot as fuck outside. Bitch, boo. And a sweater. But, like, I mean... And you, a whole sweater, you, bitch. You, I know that part of the was hotter than yeah, a motherfucker. it's definitely warmer It's... Now. Fumes all through that bitch. Man, go on. Yeah, man. But now I, I definitely like to your point, bro. Like he did definitely keep his composure. He was on uh he was on IG Live earlier today with um the guys that make that their hoodie. Uh -huh. Everybody oh, yeah, boy, so that joint out of Yeah, quick. Quick. Quick little bag. Shout out yeah, to Karen. Yeah, no, shout no, out no. to him. Uh, nah, I don't know. Don't I mean, nah, not to her, bitch. but you know what I'm saying. Uh, but nah, like now you gonna have a whole bunch of niggas with black pink hoodies. I mean, with pink hoodies on, bitch. Hey, what? <laughs> that man said. That man posted the pic saying, "Yo, this is what uh, white people think of uh, like uh, 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 Squid Games." <laughs> 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 I was like, "Damn, you right, fool. That is what they, man, that's bro. That's what they think, fool. That's what they think." But nah, I, I was looking at little buddy though. Like I was looking at little buddy because I, I Dude, thought bro. of, I thought of. Um, the, the buddy at the Steelers game when 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 the woman was messing with buddy with yeah. the, with the dreads. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's always a, a white dude. There's like, man, I cannot believe I'm about to go viral because he knew, he knew as soon as oh, bro, knew, bro, and, and knew, like, <laughs> oh. This is what he do though. This is what he do for which I said, uh, bitch, I would influence. I would finish. I'm a fucking influencer. If I wanted to, you'd be finished. Weird fuck. <laughs> He killed him with the influencer. Hey, hey, that was too funny, bro. He killed him with that. Like, I'm bro, an influencer. I'm gonna finish you, bro. I, bro, I, I can't wait to the post about oh, she get fired bro. or some shit, bro. Something coming. Something coming, bro. And, and, and listen, to be honest with you, to be completely honest with you, I don't want nobody lose their job and know shit like that. I, I, I ain't with that. I, I, don't, I don't think, you know what I'm saying? Nah, she be I don't know fired. where she work at. She come, probably come across a lot of black people, bro. She probably do. That's that. what I'm saying. Fuck you. But listen, though, if she could come in front of a whole bunch of black people, just let her get it every time y'all see her. Every time y'all nah, see her, bro, somebody gonna take it too far. <laughs> <laughs> somebody gonna take it too goddamn far. Somebody gonna take, take it too far. <laughs> what? Hell yeah. Bro, somebody gonna be just having a bad day and just gonna see what? her and just drop her ass. <laughs> but nah, see, you, nah, you nah, get fired, bitch. Go fire so you. So basically, like you're saying, job. her getting fired would really protect her in the long run. Absolutely. That's like being on, on uh, you know, uh, protective custody. You know? <laughs> <laughs> they move you around from Should apartment to apartment. You need to move around, bitch. Move around. Matter of fact, go stay in Cookville. I ain't gonna lie to you. What's crazy is she damn near can't even go back to that apartment on Lolo. Nah. Oh, security, my, matter of fact, and you know security black. Gotta be. 70% of black uh, security is black. If y'all didn't know that. And especially in that in part a, of Nashville. I'm not bro, gonna say what now. it is, but in that part of Nashville, yeah, I don't know. That man ain't black. black. You black. 
Man, that's the reason why she did. Uh, shit, that's every... the reason why he and he answered the phone. He was probably like, bro, I don't even feel like it right now. <laughs> for real, I would too. I don't think. I and then bro, like Josh probably knew. He said, what you doing? You call security? He, he not about to answer for. <laughs> I know. <laughs> I know this nigga. <laughs> he not about to answer for this shit. That nigga said, I call him for you. Man, what? I'm gonna show you where he gonna answer. <laughs> man. Oh man, but nah, shout out to the king, bro. Protect that nigga, man. Yeah, protect, bro, at all times, uh-huh. dog. Because I'm so glad, but I'll tell you what, the Lord know how to pick him. <laughs> That's true. Because he has not picked the real nigga yet. I don't think, I have not, well, other than the Hawk Pittsburgh game, but that's not that the same. Real. It's not. It's that shit. Yeah, because like, like bitch, you that, was, that was like, up. that was in, like the Pittsburgh thing was in public, it was in the stadium. The stadium hold on. This is the garage. You hear me? And you talking about stealing out of people's cars, my nigga. That's yeah. that's different, my nigga. That's that's different. That's totally that's me and behind some handcuffs, bro. That nah, hell nah. Yeah, facts. Nah, yeah. bro. Nah, 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 nah. So this is what we ain't gonna do. I feel you. Nah, that makes sense. I didn't even think of it from that perspective. I couldn't, man. I didn't think of it from, from that perspective, but it is the right ones, man. I'm telling you, man. Because, like, is there anybody I, ain't gonna lie. I, I had like, my situation, my one one ever, but... Did you talk about it on, on I think here? I did. Because I, I, I was going to have you bring it up with him, but... I don't I think, think I did. You probably did. But... Similar stuff. And, like, she just <sighs> catch you on the right day. She caught me on the right day. Yeah, it was like, like okay. I just signed a contract, bitch. Yeah, you yeah, lucky. yeah, yeah. I'm good. Man, I'm trying to gas good. them other niggas up. Man, come on, let's you know, let's go drop that bitch one time. Man, fuck, I got you. <laughs> man, I got you, man. Like, nah. She called you a hey. boy. You heard that? Bro, come on, man. What is y'all doing? I'm here. Don't no, worry I'm, about I it. I got you. You see the car I'm driving in. Yeah, I got you. Don't worry about it. <laughs> Real talk. Oh. But now nah, that's a good point, boy. This the because like you gotta think about it. You know, like you know, Josh doing his his, his thing out he here. Hot. You know what I'm saying? That Boy, man hot. Common comedian that man, of the year on the yeah. That man, that, that man got a lot to lose, fool. Like yeah, you run yeah, somebody yeah, ain't got yeah, nothing yeah, to lose. Yeah, 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 yeah. That's what I'm saying. Those the ones that the God ain't put in place yet. <sighs> that just Long ain't got, that don't give a fuck. Yeah. yeah but I, I, I mean, I really want to ask the nigga about them black males. You know what? I ain't got nothing to lose. So if you want to do this, I I'm not I feel like my that, phone. I feel like my phone. I feel like that'll calm a motherfucker down. Like, it would. A nigga would just be like, hey, I check I ain't gonna get loud with you. Big dog. Yo, lady. Hey, look, listen. <laughs> <laughs> I'm about to damn near kill myself. So uh oh, Hell yeah, I would mess with we you. We finna do this. My phone down right there. What you want? What you better do, bro? They got they completely the whole shit gotta change. Yeah. If not, you you gonna die. Yeah, facts. If somebody approached me like that, I'd be like, no what? Big homie, you can But I would never be racist again. Yeah, that would scare me. That was scared straight. You know what? If we should it, do that. If I get, I'm about, now real talk. <laughs> That's we, we need to put that out we to the people. If put y'all that, encounter bro. another Cam, uh, Karen out there. Just do, say just some crazy like, shit. Just be like, hey, look, 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 Miss Karen. Calmly. I just got fired from my job. Mm-hmm. Wifey just left me. Mm-hmm. I ain't got nothing to lose. She took the dog. Took my dog. I ain't got nothing to lose. So I was about to go rob a store to go to jail anyway because you just have a place to stay. But I don't mind just knocking you out real so quick. So I can have a little extended stay now. Extended stay now. You know what I mean? So what you trying to do? But That'll get tell That person get straight in that Toyota. <laughs> That'll get him. Goddamn him. camera so bad, bitch. Bro, terrified. <laughs> <laughs> Bro, that was scared somebody. That was scared somebody. Yeah, it scared so much she'll call her mama. Yeah. Because she ain't tell she, her what happened. She ain't gonna call the police. Hell no. Nah. Because he, she, in her mind, he want to go to jail. <laughs> I can't even, I, I'm not scaring even, him this, with this. That's not scaring him at all. He read, he said he, he was about to go it, anyway. He man. was about to, he was, <laughs> he was about to go anyway. He was about to call Uber. Man, what? Listen, oh, this man. I was about to go to jail anyway. I can knock you out on the way, bro. So what, what, what you trying to do? Speaking about giving it all up. Snap, where we going? They said Kyrie Irving was about to retire. But my boy said he came out the day and said, yeah. come on, that shit ain't true. What I look like? Facts. I love the game of basketball. What I look like just giving it up. Facts. Now, obviously, yeah. I believe him. You know what I'm saying? I don't think. Plus, he ain't on, Kyrie don't ever come out and say shit. Nah. Unless it's about the earth being flat or some dumb shit like that. Now, hold on now. You know what I'm saying? He, be, he was picking on Black Lives Matter and shit, too. Okay, yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, that's <laughs> it. And he gave him a whole bunch of money. A lot of people I got a bunch of money. He bought a lot of people. I got I, you. I, I got just, you know, Kyrie. Kyrie. Kyrie don't ever be talking like that. You right? No, he don't. He don't. The he man don't. still he he has a George Gervin fro. Man, what? He is Uncle Drew still. He is still in character. He ain't broke character yet. I, don't, I think he he <laughs> on that abducted the plane. So I should nigga be watching Aliens or something. I don't know what the fuck he on. 
The nigga tripping. So check this out, then. But nah. Go ahead, go ahead. Go ahead. Nah, you go ahead. I want so you to listen, talk this one out. I want you, you, you to... I want you. I want you because I... I work a normal job, okay? I gotta, I, I, I gotta go to work. I gotta, you know, what I'm saying, bring in this check. You know what I mean? And if you haven't if heard about job, Kyrie and what he got going on, just look it up. Yeah, I, honest. If y'all listen if to our room, y'all should, you should probably know that. I, just, you, I, I feel like, maybe, I think, if not, yeah, you need to watch more sports. Exactly, watch more sports. This shit's too popular. <laughs> All right, I'm a, I'm a normal dude out here in these streets. Now I ain't no normal dude. I'm an extraordinary dude, but I got like a normal job, right? If there is a requirement on my job. I'm just asking, you know, if there's a requirement on my job to where I, I depend on, they say, yo, you got to do X, Y, and Z. I got to go ahead and do that. You know what I mean? Because, like, it's obviously I'm not in the position that Kyrie is in. So, you know, obviously he's in a position to where he can make that choice. He can make that choice. If he chooses, like, he don't want to do it, because he's straight out of here. He yeah. Gucci. He's yeah. straight. 100. My question, though, is, as a player, so you the teammate now, Mm-hmm. You don't move some chess pieces around and get your mm-hmm. home in here, bro. You know what I'm saying? Now, we need you. Obviously, you know, basketball is a sport. Like, you you damn near need everybody. Because young has got a little 15-foot jumper now, so she's getting scary out there in these. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not sure y'all see it. He can shoot a free throw. Bro, he can shoot now, fool. It's, 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 it's getting crazy out there. Now, 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 you know that as a teammate, you in the locker room with him. What you saying? Or is it the, but, the, the, right. uh, the insane first, sentiment you, you had about uh, John Gruden? It was like, I mean, shit, but I'm still getting mine. I'm straight First, you it. started with, it's an XYZ situation. This ain't an XYZ situation. What you mean? How's not XYZ? It's either he do this or he can't play. Because it ain't looked at like this. The vaccine, bro, niggas ain't looking at it like just the vaccine. Like, I'm getting something. They're not everybody looking at it like that. Something I got legal, you. You know what I'm saying? But again, like I said, I'm looking at it from a dude that got no more job. If like my job say but it's his it's value, he obviously <clears throat> cherishes what the fuck he value. He cherishes that. that shit. So I got you. If I am a teammate, if I'm KD, if I'm any of them boys, or even if it's whoever the fuck on my football team mm-hmm. at any point in time, if they don't want to do something, they got to ride with them. Especially if I fuck with them. I see what you're saying. I might, yeah, hey, man. behind green, look, look, if it was, let's just say, let's just say, if it was me and Nico, and Nico, Kyrie, and I'm KD, or, yeah, I'm KD, or James, it don't matter, either one of them boys, whoever got him there. Mm. Or they had, nah, he was there before them. But. Yeah, well, KD got KD James got the there. Yeah, KD got James there. Either way, yeah, either way, okay. if, if, if it was, if it was like that, and Nico was like, hey, bro, I ain't finna get this vaccine because, hey, I feel like this, that, and the third. Nah, we chilling at the house playing the 2K and kicking it, and I might be like, hey, bro, what's up, man? Green ass, ain't gonna get that shit. I got you. You know what I'm saying? Just okay. fold a little, it's a, you know, a little temptation. You know, I got try you. to get him into it. But if not, all right, man, fuck it. Well, your ass ain't playing this shit. <laughs> well, hey, you ain't gonna have no job. You, you trying to pull up to the, to, to the eight? You know what I'm saying? You trying to kick it? Like, that's, <laughs> I like, got, that's I got what I have moved to. I wouldn't be, I mean, I get, they probably thinking, like, fuck, I'm trying to win a championship. I get it. Mm-hmm. Then if I'm, as like I said, if I'm KD, I'm be like, shit, well, my shots just went up about 10. Mm, well, yeah. <laughs> we finna split these yeah, shots, James. Man, well, me and you, buddy. <laughs> and I know you want to shoot the ball, nigga. Hell yeah, bro. You was in Sicily last year, but I know you trying to pull that old one. You before. feel me? So that's what I'm, I, I don't know. Maybe they, I don't know. I don't know. I, don't, I wouldn't be too stressed about it, to be honest. I ain't lying to you. I'm yeah. just upset, fool. I'm, I, I had my money on the next this year. I, I mean, yeah, like money. yeah, like you gotta count them niggas out just because Kyrie, go, man. Like that's the big piece, fool. Have you seen Giannis? I, I feel you, bro. But have you seen Kevin Durant? Yeah, I have. Oh, okay, right. against Giannis, and now Giannis got a J two. He just a tall. Oh no, 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 don't say it's a J. He has a jumper. He has a he has a preseason jumper. That nigga KD has a, a weapon. Yeah, 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 yeah. Fact. I understand that. Yeah. But it's still that nigga, Giannis, it, though. Is what I'm saying. You see that nigga easy money sniper. I understand it. I I understand what you're saying though, fool. But bro, he been this man right here was getting to, he already getting to the rim at will anyway. Now you telling me he got a 15 footer? He gonna he gonna fake it like he going to the rack. Bro, this is the game. Look at this, pop. Look at this. 
Look at this man. He playing. What is going on? Hold on. Went to the rat. No, 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 bro. Hold on, fool. There's some jumpers. Hey, let me see the goddamn jump. Look at this. Stand back. He's talking about long finger rolls. You see that? Look at this J, fool. He talking about the long finger rolls from the free throw line. He talking about that one. Pull up. It's pull up. Look. That's just a pull up. Nigga, bro. I seen him with two jumpers. Fade away? Oh, my God. Okay, he's six feet away from the goal. Bro, he just did a fade away, though. I feel you. That's you got me scary. fucked up. You thinking that like, KD ain't gonna come out there? I'm sniping. Look at this man, fool. I hear you. <laughs> I, I see it too. He's, he's but I've that also thing. seen Kevin Durant. Kevin Durant, that guy. Look at this pull up game. Stupid. <laughs> But this nigga here, nah. dog. So he finna tell me he finna win MVP again? Hell yeah. <laughs> I'm gonna be bad as hell, too. Hey, that nigga gonna start out 0 and 8 on your ass. Hell no, nah, fool. That nigga travel right there. But ain't no traveling in the NBA unless you tell about four steps. Man, you did. I gotta take that. Look at this, bro. Watch this, man. Bro, come this, on, bro. We ain't finna make this, this, this the goddamn segment. Get the fuck out of here, bro. All right. Look at this shit, bro. All right, bro. All right, bro. All right, bro. Kyrie, bro, he ain't getting this shot. All right. Yeah, bro. So we can't play in Brooklyn. They said, matter of fact, look, nigga, we finna just get you out of here. Don't nobody want Yeah, because like at first, I think they, they said something about like he can just he can still do road games, but they yeah, like, nah. like, well, shit, he, you can't play you can't. in Toronto. You can't play nowhere in California. You can't play in New York. Like, Fuck hey, you gonna bro, play, bro? Gonna play? <laughs> and they gonna say, I'm playing Memphis. <laughs> Florida, shit, Memphis, shit, Oklahoma. Like, damn, that reminds me. What? We never got to that shit, but we ain't talking the about Memphis it. Like, nah, not the Memphis shit. What? The uh the Tony Allen. The, the, oh. We ain't got we ain't got we ain't got to we ain't got to we ain't got to. It's heartbreaking. Yeah, that shit's sad. Free my niggas. I think oh, they all boy. out though, right? They are probably out, but they probably out. They ain't gonna be out. They down bad. They ain't gonna be out long. Mm-mm. That shit fell around. That, yeah, that's this, this. Yeah, that shit ain't. Even, God, dang. we ain't got, we ain't got. Nah, we ain't, you know, that shit had niggas sad, bro. That was like, my hero. What? Hell my hero. yeah, fool. That's that's the fucking ground ball. Straight, man. hey, real talk. Like his jersey about to get retired. That's crazy, man. No, Memphis still do that shit. Yeah, Memphis gonna retire his jersey. Fuck. That nigga could have sold dope. Nigga still would retire his shit. Facts. <laughs> Facts, bro. Hey, hey, yeah. That twerk fool. That nine gone. Oh, yeah, that nine got... Oh, speak. No, we ain't gonna talk about the nine. Damn. You, you ain't even check the group chat. See, that was... Yeah, yeah, yeah. See, I ain't check the group chat. All right, all right, all right. Oh, yeah, fool. Oh, so you got a podcast coming. Yes, sir. As I recall, name of it. Yeah, bro. It. Tell people man, about it, man. shit, bro. It's gonna be a, a Raw Room production. You know, we getting busy over here, bro. So, uh, bro, this shit been sitting there for yeah, a minute. Good. It's been sitting there. I wrapped them up good though. Bruh, it's been fool. You ain't been, we ain't been in like two weeks. Two weeks. <laughs> you heard that uh, uh 85 South. I ain't say that shit. Bruh, shabby week. Somebody <laughs> said, you know, they were joking around. They had tips on one of the TI sons on the hoe. Yeah. Bro was like, you know, they had they goofing off and he was like, man, we get you, we at the church. You know, he playing a preacher. Preacher, we can get you, you just bring that money on down here, get us. Give it to the Lord, bring that check over. And in two weeks, we had that bad money turn into some good money. <laughs> That's <laughs> real. That shit had me fucking weak. That's two weeks. Two weeks. You yeah. took your bad money in the good money. Into good money. But anyway, bro, shit, yeah, man. As I recall, bro, it's coming soon, man. Like I said, man, Raw Room, we about to expand, bro. So um, I got a pod coming through. It's going to be like a mini series. It's going to be five mm-hmm. episodes. Um, Oka, the conversation is really about, you know what I'm saying, new fatherhood. As y'all know, you know what I'm saying, I'm about to have my first child or whatever, man. So I had some of my homies came coming through. Some of my, uh, yeah, a little bit of round of applause, bro. Princess on the way, baby sweet. Uh, so shout out to uh, some of my frat brothers came through, had a conversation with like my pops, of course. Uh, mm-hmm. Jasmine, she gonna sit down with me. CJ, Liv, and Chris, mm-hmm. he gonna sit down, talk a lot of stuff. So mm-hmm. uh, it's gonna be like a, a quick little five, five part episode thing, you know, just recalling all their experiences, bro. And it's really some great conversation. If you already heard some of the sneak shit, man. But uh, one conversation I had with the frat brothers, man, was about, like the behind the scene from a husband's point of view being in the delivery room. Oh, I got video. <sighs> Recorded the whole thing. You did? Man, second time around, nigga, I came in that delivery room ready. Was... That man had on a GoPro to what if I hear on this shit. No, 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 no. All right, now I had set some shit up the night before. Yeah. I had set the chair up, boom, popped the phone right there. Soon they came in, boop. View already. I already knew what it was going to look like. Ready. Man. Let's go. I'm right there looking at the camera. I'm like, this, doctors and shit. I'm like, hey, 
in that hoe, nigga. I'm doing a pick that hoe, go around that. You good? Oh my goodness, boy. I damn really, I, I wanted to just go let me do that. Hell, hell no. Hell no. Hell no. Hell no. Cause that didn't want me to do that. I was there for a quick shit. Get the fuck out of my face. Uh, you good though, right? Are you straight? Tell the people you straight out here. But, anyway, but it's gonna be some dope combo, bro. It's gonna be some real dope combo, man. So this shit coming soon, real soon, bro. As I recall, bro. Season one on the way. Hold on, man. I know for sure. What you got? What you got? Yeah, See check us out, man. Nigga doing, man. Goddamn new star linebacker for the Tennessee. Who got called Avery? Let's see what Avery doing. I'm calling David right now. See what young David Long Jr. Yeah, yeah. Bro, that's two David Long Juniors in the NFL. That's crazy to me. David Long Jr., the real David Long Jr. What's up, my nigga? <laughs> What's up, What's up bro? You was on the Raw Room Live with us, but we just calling, you know what I'm saying? We see you been playing What's a lot of goddamn wrong, balls. You been playing fast like I know you can. Now, young nigga, you, you in that goddamn uh, star rotation for good right now. How you feeling, my, my dog? I'm feeling good, man. Uh, you know, it's been a lot of hard work being put in. Right? Oh, man, I know you put that work in. I see it first. I didn't see it firsthand, boy. My dog, you know that, so. You know, it's, now it's about staying consistent, you know, just, you know, fixing a little thing, you know, getting better. That's how I'm about right now, bro. Hey, why you didn't want to change your number back to your college shit? Uh, you know, AJ got it. Oh, yeah. AJ got it. Damn, yeah. Hey, I know you <laughs> yeah, went back to it. it, too. Yeah, we definitely. I would have paid it. <laughs> I would have paid it for sure. Man, coming up now, coming up. Monday motherfucking night, you got the, the hot-ass Buffalo Bills in town. Now, I know I ain't finna ask you goddamn no injuries, no comparisons. You know, rapes, the shit. But I am going to say. You know that. How I tell the people right now, like, when you in that locker room, you know it's a Monday night game. You the only game on TV. Oh yeah, the vibe. The only game on TV. You coming out that motherfucking tunnel, they calling your name. Now you on TV smacking shit. Tell the people like what that feeling is coming out that locker room, getting dressed, putting your swag out. Tell the people like how that shit feel for you, for David Long Jr. Uh, I think one thing I can remember was uh, last year of Green Bay. Um, we was the only game on that night. You know, it was a big game. It was just like a dream, man. You know, uh, playing against some great players. Mm -hmm. You know, the whole world watching. You know, all eyes on you. And that's when you come to play your best ball. You know, that's when you come in. That's where you make your name at. And that's I just, true. you know, uh, it's just a dream come true. I feel like, you know, going out there, your family out there, um, it's a lot of good that goes into it, you know, just making sure you bring your best A game. I think that's that's what it is for me. For sure. Man, hey, I appreciate you answering the goddamn phone, nigga. <laughs> hey, you already know, hey, bro, anytime. Go, go bro, watch your film, dog. bro. I know y'all got practice tomorrow. Wish I wearing pads still? Nah, 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 nah we ain't. <laughs> hey, God damn. <laughs> That nigga you know how about I them go, two bro. losses. <laughs> you know how it go, man. <laughs> you know how that goes, bro. All right, man. Hey, appreciate you fucking with me, man. Tell them niggas I said what's up. Rashawn got down. Tell Coach what's good. Hey, Avery. I know you don't know Avery yet, but just slap the yeah, nigga like one time for me. <laughs> I like that one. I got you, bro. Thanks for calling me, bro. All right, my nigga. Fuck with you. For sure. Easy. Ah, right, damn, David Long Jr., man. I love to see my guy. My young dog grinded, bro. He been wanting this shit for a minute, bro. There you go. For real. I'm sad to see Jay on down. But, yeah, my young boy, David, he been he been not even wishing and talking about the moment. This nigga been working for this moment. Like, he been working. Getting better, trying to get bigger, faster. He ain't getting no bigger, but he going to get faster. He going to get quicker. Mm. You know, he a small linebacker, too, so that's what make it even, you know what I'm saying? That's why I rock with that man so hard. Prime time game hit again. You seen that nigga Lamar Jackson about to throw for <laughs> half a thousand. <sighs> for real. You should talk about my, my tick. I actually uh cashed out right before them uh right before Kansas City played. Cause I had Ravens Monday night and I had Kansas City Sunday night. And I went on and cashed out before uh they played. Mm -hmm. The Kansas City ended up losing again. <laughs> but I'm glad that I cashed out though. I cashed out yeah, right yeah. in time because like I was, I had, I had them. And I watched that man. Boy, he, he, he was balling out, but he was fucking up a lot too though. <laughs> he, he was balling. It was, it was one of and them fucking games. Up at the same time. It was I'm one like, of them hey, games. How are you cold and and slow at the same time? It was one of them games. You like, it's like you got that superstar. It's like, man, 
I hope his last thing he do ain't the fuck up. <laughs> like, <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Like, I hope his last play that we get up out of here for the clock yeah. click zero or before the other folk team score, I hope his last just, thing ain't a fuck up. Yeah, just don't mess with it. It could have been a couple times. A couple they times. They should have could have buried them folks. Yes. They did not play yes. this. The I know we talk about phone. an old game. Yeah, it, yeah, it is old. It is old, but still, bro. <laughs> it's still crazy to, to it's see. Crazy. Y'all had the opportunity. What they were? Uh, one and three? One and or close with one and three. One and three. One and three. At least go to two and three. Yeah. They had opportunity. They had I opportunity. I mean, two and three ain't ain't the best, but it ain't one and four. Yeah. <laughs> that's the damn sure. I know Fast. that. Yeah, that's true. They got opportunity damn. to go two and four though, uh Sunday. They got uh who they got? Texans. You got the Texans. Man. Yeah. That's gonna be a that's a division game. Yeah. Man. It ain't gonna be sweet. Yeah, it ain't gonna be sweet. And the but, Texans. Okay, they want it for two, but it's what I'm saying. Like, I mean, that's gonna be, hey, yeah, yeah, it's gonna be one for the, yeah, for so, the lesser side. But man, that man Lamar, I was like, God, at least he cold or is he slow? <laughs> what, which one is? <laughs> I don't know, but uh, he a beast. Like I was just talking beast. with David about um, <clears throat> fucking Josh Allen coming in town, bro. Yeah, it's gonna be a huge game here. Hey, hey, I ain't now, gonna, I ain't, I'm, now, not, I'm not moving much. Matter of fact, I'll be in Chattanooga, matter of fact. Now, so I'm not even gonna be in Chattanooga. All the older black fellas probably gonna be disappointed when I say this. Josh Allen stick remind me of Cam, but I ain't gonna lie. The man athletic as fuck. He now, is athletic. Listen to me. You see that he he can be? He not can be. Are you serious? I, I could be tripping. I could be tripping. I don't I play football, say he's taller bro. than Cam, first of all. Word? He that big? That yeah, nigga he is dude. huge, bro. Man, 6'5", 240, damn. What man. you mean? All right, Cam yeah. probably got him on the weight. But that's why he can jump. When that's... you see Cam ain't jump hurling, niggas. Nah, I mean, he a big-ass dude. But, I mean, <laughs> LeBron fucking 6'8", fucking... Bro, shut up. <laughs> what? You ain't for... Hey, look, we ain't for... <laughs> look, look, look. LeBron 6'8", 240, bro. He can jump up a building. <laughs> Josh... Yes, and, he, cold, and he, he got cold. pads he on, and niggas trying to hit him. You're right. Okay, yeah. look at me, bro. Listen yeah. to me, and that's not the first time he do that. You yeah. feel me? So it's like, and he and he not gonna just jump over. He gonna drop that shoulder. Yeah, try to run something over, bro. I just like I like him because, and I'm saying he can he can he compares to camp because he runs the ball. He physical when he runs the ball. Yeah. And he he athletic when he run the ball. Yeah. And, and he yeah, he he, he, like he gonna throw that bitch too. He got yeah. an arm on him. It's Cam true. used to have an arm on him, chunking that bitch downfield. I, I mean, and, I, I'm not mad at the comparison. I'm not and mad at the comparison. He's probably one of the only the few of hand selected players that had made the jump like this man made. From his rookie year, he was damn near on the curb. Garbage. Yeah. It didn't matter. Now he up in the penthouse with the roll on. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Damn. <laughs> what a comparison. But yeah, nah. I, 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 hey, you right now. You right. I'm just saying, right. but I, I watched this, like, man. I played class, against him since 2018. Because, like, out of we that class, who boys. was it? It was him. I it don't was, know. uh, what's the Sam Donald? Uh, who else came out of that class, Faye? He is number one. Oh, facts. Yeah. I mean, he, he definitely made, to your point, that, that two year leap. Yes. He definitely made that bitch. Sam yeah. Dog, Sam Dog playing and ball. Fucking, uh, Lamar, Sam Dog playing course. better. Josh Rosen, he the backup in uh, Lamar. Atlanta, Baker right Mayfield. Now, Lamar. Ah shit, Baker. And Baker. I we. When did uh, Justin uh, Herbert come out? Did he last come out this? Oh, he came out last year. He cold. He throwing that thing. And shit, he slick bigger than uh, Josh, ain't he? I think he is. Well, he at least taller than him for sure. Look Maybe tall, but look no, him he up. is not fucking big enough. He, he, look him up. He's 6'6". Oh, he's he he six, six. That's two inches shorter. Nah, fuck that. He's not two inches shorter, bro. He was 6'8". Six, six, oh, he's 6'5"? I thought yeah. he was 6'5". Oh, you talking about that fucking LeBron James shit? He's 6'5". Yeah. Six, 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 <laughs> he's 6'5". Six, six, uh, uh, yeah, but guess what? Guess what? Guess what? I'm still taking Josh Allen and fucking no Justin Herbert. Even though he balling. I don't know. I'm saying, bro, watch the game. What you mean? You don't know. I'm watching the game. He, 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 this man is co- serving. He, he is serving. serving. What he you saying? Serving. But I'm saying Accurate over the. Too. I'm saying over the past Dropping three years. I'm looking over the past three years. No, he ain't got to the Super Bowl yet. But them motherfuckers, Josh Allen, bro. I don't know. Maybe I'm just biased because I love his competitive nature. The motherfucker's okay. a dog. I yeah. didn't lost to him. I think two out of the three times I didn't played against him. <laughs> yeah, yeah. You know what I'm saying? We I got you. I got we got what a little saying. win um, last year, but you know what I'm saying? Like. I just, I just that might have been a leave for two years. For last year he was serving. This year we're here. Uh, what, what is he? And then nobody one? ever expected it either. 
I think people was like not, we was not last year. We were talking about that. We was definitely Nobody talking about. Nobody was just, expecting Justin Herbert was, to throw. No, bro, why? we was why? Tell he us was, why. He was cold last year. He had Tell all. Us, the, no, no, he had no, all no, the no. I said last year, nigga. That's what I'm saying. What you you mean? was you expecting mean like, him to throw all the. You, oh, you mean like at the beginning of last year? No, 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 no. I'm last like, year, period. <laughs> the whole when season. he was playing. I knew this year that he was gonna be cold. Is what I'm saying. Like no, last, you can't like, say that. Come you can't on, say that. that's some that's some I, niggas I at the at the house shit. Yeah, well, shit. I'm at that's the house. Some niggas at the house. I'm shit. in the house playing fantasy. He was you in know my why? top three. Because most niggas was like, hey, the first time when Nick Foles left the, the Eagles, he Fuck went. No, people wasn't saying this. Crazy shit. as hell. What were they saying? What were they saying? What oh, they the Rams saying? got a, got to run. They got a chance to make the playoff run. Got a chance to make the playoff. Guess I mean, well, hold on. Next, we got Casey Clemens at quarterback week two, nigga. What the fuck you talking about? I feel what you're saying, but what I'm saying is, last watching him play last year, I knew it was this exciting. Year that he it was wasn't going, saying that, bro, that it was going to be listen great. Listen to me, listen to me. So you saying Pete was saying the same thing about Kyler Murray? Nope. You crazy if you think he, he better hurt. than Kyler. He got hurt, though. Yeah, man, I don't he did. Know, fuck. We didn't watch him. We, bro, we watched this man play all last year. What I'm saying is, is this. From a, okay, look, from like a, because like I said, I'm not in the locker room, but from like a fantasy perspective, he was nice, like a so fucking high, fantasy. Is, but that's how we imagine this shit. Like, who, who is going to kill this shit? <laughs> Niggas was saying, bro, Justin Herbert is going to kill this shit. I, I feel like people was definitely saying that. And for sure people were saying that. I know I was if saying If I'm going to be in the fantasy world, then sure. All right. That was, it's the same thing that means you knew he was going to be cold. What you mean? No, not like this. I did not. I did not expect him to have his team for a while. What the fuck are you talking about? Who any nigga in... We can call Chris Long right I'm now. I'm not going to say Chris that Chris Long, it. did you expect just her? No. Okay, like, bro, like, you look at the record. I'm saying that he I'm looked cold at, is what I'm saying. I'm not I'm talking about his record. I'm everything, bro. But I'm just they, saying, he, he, he didn't wasn't even winning games like this last year. But he, okay, I'm not talking about, okay, so winning about games two. is the thing. All right, okay. You don't give a I fuck feel, how you feel, look. Feel. You can throw all these passes, all these yards, and you don't win. That's what I'm saying, You're not just, I see what you're saying. You straight. You all right. Nigga, you ain't that. That's different. What I'm saying is, bro, so that's he like, looked good last year is all I'm saying. Patrick Mahomes be looking good every week. They still lose. That's true. But, but you ain't going to say... What hey, you mean? I'm not going to say it. I'm, bro, Patrick Mahomes, Patrick Mahomes. It's what I'm saying. But I'm saying, so, but I'm saying cold, is what I'm saying. He's still cold. But he ain't, he, he's still cold, but he ain't giving the same number. So now you're going to say he's sorry? Nah, I'm not going to say that. Because like we we seen oh, him you ball, say he though, bo- bro. We seen him ball is what I'm saying. You, you saw Justin Herbert ball, but you can't yes, say you cannot they, say that. That's my point. But I you can both of them ball. For one year, you talking about a nigga that was at the Super Bowl. You can't compare a nigga that won the Super Bowl. I'm not comparing him to. All I'm saying is, I knew that he was going to be cold this year. Define your cold. Your cold is what we know. Like yours is, cold, is winning. Yours is winning. winning. Yes. It's winning, and I, yes. I, I respect. I mean, that. and put a, you can put up numbers, but if you ain't winning, I'm to just me, gonna I'm say gonna get the numbers, you, I'm gonna say you in a different cold category. You in the Char Barkley now. Okay, and you that's you were in the Bears. Sa- nah, I ain't say Bears. Sounds good. Charles Barkley was like a po- uh, was a perfect example. Yeah. Like, he never you won, that, but you knew he was you cold. Knew he was cold. You know what I'm okay. saying? You'll pick him up. I'll pick him up. I'll pick him up. You'll pick, but I'll pick him up. I feel what you say. I don't think okay. Justin Herbert reached that that, that 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 range. But it might be cold though. I would say that's Matt Stafford. He's on. He would you want to say he on the Matt Stafford Avenue? He finna go down the Matt Stafford career. He could. Matt Stafford still throw that thing. Yeah, he can, bro. But Justin Herbert is cold though. I feel like, and this is my opinion, this is a hot take now, all right? This is a hot take. This is hot off the press now. I may get crucified with it. <laughs> I really don't want to say it, but I'm going to say it because I've been thinking in my head. Say it. He looked better to me than Trevor Lawrence. Oh, yeah. But people saying, like, but Trevor Lawrence is supposed to be... Game, I know, he got one year. He, he only in his second, though. I mean, what? What's, what's going on? I don't know, I don't know. We're going to see I, what he's going to do I next mean, year. I, 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 I think But I you think can't compare a, sec- a sophomore quarterback to a, fr- a rookie quarterback, though. Um, who the other, who okay. was the other quarterback they were taking this year? Come out, there was a, a, a rookie. Yeah. Oh, um, Justin Fields. Justin Fields. Yeah, yeah I think that was See, Zach Wilson. Two niggas you gotta compare them motherfuckers. No, for I'm not. I'm you not can't comparing. Have, who I'm else not, you gonna compare? I'm not None comparing of them nobody. Balling. You right. I understand that, but I'm not gonna compare like just because they in the same class, bro. You like, have if to. You cold, you cold, cold, you cold, bro. You can't what compare mean? them to no other starting quarterback in this league. All, all y'all in the league. But I'm saying, like, okay, if you are, they they down at the bottom. That's why okay, you gotta compare yeah. them to each other. Okay, I can do that. But but that's I'm, what I'm, I'm not, saying. But it's based off of like if you cold or not. It's not based off of like yo yo. Uh, but none of them niggas is cold. If you looking you're like we gonna okay. That's I mean, like, like, like Cam said, you right, you like right, Cam you're said, right, you're right. he was on I, don't, I am athlete. I might say there's not 32 quarterbacks that better than me. We obviously didn't seen it. They didn't bench niggas and all I type agree. of shit. So that's what I'm saying. There's I agree with that. I see what you're saying. It's a whole bro. list of niggas that gotta go through. 
They now, I never looked this up, Faye. I just heard somebody say, I don't know where I was at, what I was looking at, but the ground had exploded in Siberia. Dang, that was a hard turn left, bro. Show me this. <laughs> <laughs> bro, somebody just... hit the brakes in that motherfucker. I thought he was talking about football. Nigga, we in Siberia. <laughs> Siberia. So basically, uh, uh, the massive crater appeared violently and explosively in Siberia tundra last year. A powerful blowout of methane gas throwing ice and rock 100 feet away and leaving a gapping circular scar in the empty and airy landscape. That is crazy. A well, you know what's crazy about this? That exists in a significant part of your mall where gas accumulates in the upper permafrost. You know what uh, that methane thing slick shit. remind me of? Who? Have you seen? The doctors on Netflix, the uh, mass sport. Yes. How does that remind you of that? I'm about to get to it. Have you seen episode two? I seen all that. All right. You remember episode two? Those two race car drivers, fool. That was like uh, pushing all that marijuana weight. Hold on, time out. You said bad sport. Yeah. Basketball jump, right? It was. It was episode two. Was about race car drivers. Okay, then nah. Then I didn't. No. Nope. All right. I, we'll talk yeah, about yeah, but we can talk about bad sport though. How about Basswood? Arizona State? Yeah. I, I, uh, that nigga I, was I, I knew that. I, 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 I've read this story before, but he was he was definitely tripping. This is what I didn't like about it. I didn't like about how at the very end, they was going to try to take it, uh, t- uh, like, tie that together with, like, they got paid athletes. I ain't like that. Like, bro, don't, <laughs> nah, don't, 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 the- don't bring your bullshit over into the fight that we try to fight, bro. Nah, he, you was going to do that anyway. Somewhere down you got a line, problem. They, they added that in there. I life. didn't like that. Somewhere down the line, he added that in there in life. Hey, I did this because I need the money because they don't pay us. But he had a disease. He had a gambling problem. Absolutely. Because he was getting money. He had the money, and this nigga <laughs> <laughs> blew it, and then still was going to have your ball with it. Because he had a problem. Didn't, didn't even have the money to bet on himself. You got a problem, bro. You got a problem. These niggas he did kill say, you. He did say that it wasn't him. It was a headache that did it. <laughs> Them niggas threw both of each other through each other, through each other bro. Nah, I ain't do it. He did. Nah, I ain't do it. That man was schizophrenic, bro. Bruh. I'm trying to tell you. Man. But nah, bro, I ain't like that. I said, bro, don't die. Nah, don't, don't, be, don't be trying to tie in tie before in you did t- that nah. to, the, to, to like the, the fight with uh, athletes getting paid now. Nah, but I, I can't, uh-uh. Uh, fixing game, first of all, I don't, I've never been in that driver's seat, so I don't know, mm-hmm. but. You had to be cold to fix games. You got to be real cold to do that. That's the first, that's what I'm getting to. He nah. was cold. Yeah, now, if I'm fixing the game, that mean I, I, I probably got a chance to go to the league. This nigga was nicknamed Headache because he was giving niggas headaches. Well, and he had scouts at every game. You got to be cold to fix the game, though. Like, you can't be trash fixing that's the game. What, but that's what I'm saying. You finna go make M's, or at the time, a few M's, a couple hundred thousands. No, nah, he was going to make some M's in the league back then. He was going to be a first-round draft pick. Yeah. He gonna, yeah. So, he, I'm saying, he was going to have some M's, whatever. I got you. But that might in his senior year. Yeah. Which blew my mind. None of it made sense to me. That's what I'm, that's what I'm trying to put, <laughs> like, put bro, it out you there. You almost there, fool. You literally a few months away. You ain't got to go to, to class the next semester, fool. Like, you good, fool. You do because they got to go to, they still playing. They still hooping in the second For semester. Real? Okay, well, shit, after your last game, you were still done. Y'all won the After his last game, that nigga, after his last game, which was fixed. I think that game was fixed, wasn't yeah, it? Yeah, all yeah. His last, I think he just said like the last 10 or he, five yeah, was like fixed. fixed. And he thought he was finna walk off that court and go try for NBA team. <laughs> go work out. It's not yeah. funny, fool. It's sad. It's sad because he, really, cause thought he really thought that. He thought that, bro. But then it's not that sad because your partner, well, he said if he would have been included, he would have did it too. No, I feel like he had a couple of little common sense. He yeah, cause like yeah, he, he didn't did want the first do. time. He, he did like, the first time. He was like, yeah, 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 that's cool. He did the first time. Cause like he was like, shit, this quick bag. Yep. And it was like, all right, you know what I'm saying? After after he kept on coming back, I think he was like, all right, he was like, like, that's I'm, too I'm much. still, I'm yeah. still cool on this. I will say though, like uh the way that they was living off of though, that shit was kind of ridiculous. When he was like, they, they, they got how, how much he say that they got a year? I mean a uh, month, like was like two hundred dollars, four hundred dollars, some shit like that. Uh-huh. A month. For the who? To my uh, the NCAA athlete. player? No, I'm talking, well, no, them. Like, he said uh, they, oh, they, they had, hear. like, I want to say he said, like, they got, like, $200, yeah, $200 and shit one for the shit. whole month. That's crazy. But they probably, back then, they were staying on dorm, in dorms. Yeah. I feel like there was some lies in there, too, bro. It was like, bro, there was some days, bro, we couldn't even eat. Now, here's the thing, now. I don't know how most colleges work. That was in the 80s. I, you can't tell 90s. me, like, that. It was in the 90s. It was in the 90s, yeah. Now, as a player, you had a you had a meal plan. 
Nigga, you have more than meal plan. Nigga, you have female friends. <laughs> I ain't talking about just nothing. You busting down. This is my friend. Like, hey, yeah. you know you got homegirl. You be like, hey, bro, let me get back uh, a box of mac and cheese, bro, or something. Yeah, facts. You know facts. what I'm saying? Or you know she in there hoe cooking up a burger or two or something. Yeah, yeah, bro. I yeah. have plenty of homegirl. Come on. You not, you not, you not, you not starving like that nah. to where I'm about to go ahead again with my life for it. But now, like, nah. Buddy was really tripping, though. He was really tripping. Like <laughs> thinking he was going straight to the league after he and did do it. that, and he's like, "Ain't nobody know. Ain't nobody find out." What? What's Everybody crazy is though, was, he was going around. This is what's really crazy because I didn't, like I knew that he wasn't all the way there in his head, fool, because he was taking the same ten k. <laughs> but the buddy they was betting the buddy, was making not M's, M's, fool. Like, and it makes no sense, fuck? bro. Like why you? But because he put like, up an M though the first time. I was, I was, bro, listen, yeah, after, yeah, after, was, after you I paid me, that, yeah, I'm yeah, yeah, up yeah. in that shit, bro. Nah. You see, you see you, the thing, I'm a guaranteed bucket? Not even, not even, not even, nigga, you said 20, you finna get an M back? Nah. Yeah, I, I need this more than 10 bands. This bitch. What? I need at least 100. At least 100. And that's a piece. Yeah, that's a piece of an M? What? Are you serious, bro? Nah, I'm not. Yeah, I ain't doing for no twenty. That man, bro. like, that man last one, uh, he said he was supposed to win like five M's or whatever for like the yeah, like, yeah. last joint. He had to make ten, the same ten <laughs> bands. <laughs> <laughs> what, bro? What's wrong with your man, what bro? What is wrong with you? They was taking advantage of you. <laughs> this nigga's not smart at all. But the thing is, they nigga was young too. He was twenty something years old. The, the white dude. He was smart. What you mean? Yeah. College kids, bro. He yeah. probably had like a whole algo. Like that's why he knew. He said like when when he he called the book like his friend who like the, the initial dude because you got to uh-huh. think about they it. Was, they the was initial team, dude nigga. that introduced Put, him to the dude in mm-hmm. Chicago. You never heard back from him after the first uh, nope. game. He nope. hear shit else from him. He wasn't even in the shit. He wanted to go find somebody else. Exactly. Damn. Exactly. Working that boy. Working him, bro. You got to watch the second episode though. You I'm watching watch that shit tonight. Show. You said it's a racing. Yeah, it's, it's about a race car driver. It's about the um, the. Uh, the race car driver, Randy, I forget his last name, but he he wasn't even like no real race car driver. He was just a D boy that loved race cars. And he just was moving, <laughs> he was moving a lot of weight. Damn. Oh, yeah. Like uh, I'm tonight. talking about not, not even white now. He he didn't he didn't fuck with white. He he only fuck with weed. He only fuck with, with tree. Yeah. But he was moving like and when I'm talking about boat loads, I'm not talking about like, like them little bitty boats. I'm talking about like the yachts, sixty footers. No, like the barges. The one that got like the little Damn, trailer train, things on. Yeah. The yeah, big bitches. <laughs> the reason why I brought the whole methane thing, I gotta go ahead and say it now. The reason why I brought the whole methane thing, because one of his shipments, uh, uh, they they knew that he was coming into New Orleans. Mm-hmm. So he had to divert this big ass boat. It's big, bro, mm-hmm. to uh to uh, to San Francisco. Mm-hmm. He moved this bitches to San Francisco. He moved this bitches to San Francisco. It was like some water gas. So he basically had like the, the whole bottom of the boat. He had like all the, the all good the down there, the whole bottom of it. So yeah. this big as shit. Yeah. And they put like a little uh, a little metal thing on top of it, and there was some water on top of that. So if it got seized, they only see like the water, but they don't see yeah. something. That, but anyway, long story short, uh, the little thing that, that was separating the water from the good had like a leak in it. So all the good got wet. <sighs> so, you know, once it got wet, and it was traveling for six months now, because it, it went from oh, New Orleans through the, through the, through the, so yeah, it was stunk. It's, it, it all rot. And when uh, loud rot, it creates methane gas. What? Yes, Sersky. So the dude, the reason why I was talking about, I, I feel like blew this, up. they was trying to go down the good with like some blow torches, you know, to like yeah, burn it, dry it out or burn it. No, nah, like to open it up. Like, like, like I said, it was like oh, a steel oh, thing blow torch. Yeah, okay, to okay, get okay, the weed. Okay, yeah, yeah, yeah. When that joint, when that heat hit, that methane, boom. Boom. Blew up. Whoa. Lot, it was a lot that he lost. Like he had to like go on a run for a little bit because like you know what I'm saying them Columbians were looking for his ass. Damn, <laughs> yeah, nigga had a whole bottom of a boat. Yeah. Yes, bro. Watch that joy though. Like I'm episode two is right. like I was like bro, I had jazz, the jazz were watching getting into it, bro. I'm watching the jazz. Anyway, tonight. watch that joy. I'm, I'm, I'm gonna watch episode two, uh, three tonight. Yeah, anyway. man, we appreciate y'all listening. This now, is we like a tonight. special episode Hell of yeah. Saturday. Like a, it's like one of those 2K uh, golden episode editions. You know how the nigga be dropping <laughs> home with an exclusive nigga on there, huh? That's us, bro. We dropped an exclusive special Saturday for y'all. We appreciate you tuning in. You already know what it is. Easy. If you have something to say and need a place to help you say it, check out the boys at the Raw Room Media Group to get information on recording the session.
Appreciate y'all for listening. Hey, follow us. Follow us at The Raw Room, Twitter, Instagram. Follow me at Wesson underscore Sun 56 on Instagram. On Twitter, DB underscore 5 Trey. Follow your boy, JC. Uh, Jcar underscore 11, Twitter. Uh, Instagram, Jcar underscore 32. Uh, and the, the Raw Room is at Raw underscore underscore room. Roomies, we appreciate y'all for listening. Yeah. We'll tune in for you next week. Easy.